be able to fly to uh, places where there are challenges, uh, or if any challenge arises, that is, I don't think there will be. But in case there is any challenge, uh, our security teams will be able to move around this uh, region without a problem, without any vision. We have deployed additional resources, additional vehicles, and, and so on and so forth. I would like, finally, to assure uh, our people that, um, first of all, we've had a fairly peaceful uh, uh, campaign season. Mm -hmm. You can all agree that for the last um, uh, several months during the campaigns and so on, we have had a very peaceful uh, time. Uh, yeah, we've had very unfortunate remarks and comments being made here and there. But that's fine. Uh, the country has been calm and we would like to remain this way. Uh, during this period, on 9th and after 9th. Uh, as I've said uh, so many times before, we are ready as security sector players to provide support to the IPC uh, to conduct the general elections on the 9th. We are ready totally uh, to do this. And we have sufficient resources. Every Kenyan, whether they live in the Rift Valley or elsewhere in the country, need to understand one thing. They are free to go and vote wake up in the morning or night and exercise their democratic right to vote without intimidation, without fear of any kind. And they have nothing to fear because we have sufficient resources, we are sorted out and we are totally ready to support and work with them as they go about these activities. Uh, our brothers and sisters on the campaign trail, uh, I think many of them have traversed uh, you know, this country across the board and they are no longer holding public meetings. And we thank the Lord that we haven't had any serious incident as such, and we have remained calm. Now we are on the home stretch. We're coming to the end of the campaign season. We ask them to be more responsible in their utterances, to think about the country, and to remember that, uh, you know, there will be Kenya after 9th of August. 9th is not the end of the world, and it's not the end of Kenya. So, so everyone needs to be responsible in the manner in which they conduct themselves, the kind of things they say. Finally, Two things. One, we have set up a multi agents command center in Akuru uh, that will be operating on a 24-7 basis. Uh, the regional commissioner is going to make all this information available to the press. There are phone numbers there. And we have asked all the county security teams in the Rift Valley to also equally uh, form command centers and the information on the phone numbers and, the, and all that will be made available to the public. So that should there be any need to engage with the police or should there be any need when 